All right, so we are installing the Corksport Big Brake Kit uh, for Mazda Speed 3 and Mazda 3. And I will start by breaking loose the big 17s on the factory caliper bracket. Uh, these can be uh, pretty tight. Let's see here. There we go. I think I think that's it. Did you hear me that flashlight? One thing Mackie asked is before you drive the thing, you need to get some pictures with the wheel off in the rotors before they got serviced. Before the pads tore up the rotor, so for the pro one pictures done. Okay. If you can make one side nice and pretty, that would be Okay. Nope. Uh, don't know I mean. So now those are a little loose. Josh has our uh, bra braided uh, steel lines. Looks like the older version, and uh, sort of zip tied on there. Now I will loosen the brake line. Out the screwdriver dumped on right here. <laughs> and then I will remove the 17 millimeter bolts off the factory caliper bracket and kind of try to do this quickly so that we lose as little brake fluid out of the reservoir as possible. Um, and there we go. Um, usually Stock rotors will be uh, stuck on there pretty, pretty tight. I do. Uh, so I'll give them a little. A little tap. Next, I'll take the Corksport caliper bracket and the two factory 17 millimeter bolts, and I'll put some blue Loctite on the bolts. millimeter socket and torque wrench and the torque for these I need to uh, look in the instructions do you remember what the torque is 
Uh, I want to say it's right about 70. Look at that. Instructions. My assistant's reading the instructions. That's removing. Install the bracket. We're using 17 millimeter bolts. Make sure the flat side of the bracket is faced towards the rotor. Tighten with a wrench and then torque to 64 to 71 feet pounds. All right. So we'll do 70. Seventy foot pounds. Then the brake line, you can loosen up this. That will allow the sleeve to move up and down in a little nut. Um, these should be loose for right now, for just temporarily fitting. Just kind of hand hand tighten everything for now. Make sure that your banjo is bent out so it pushes the brake line out away from the caliper. And take the plug out of the back of the caliper. Make sure that your bleeder screws are facing upward. You have a bleeder screw and then on the bottom side there's a line that connects the two sides of the caliper together. First, we need a rotor. This is a, an uh, EBC rotor for the Mazda Speed 3. Make sure that it rotates and doesn't rub up against anything. The Mazda speed or the uh, Mazda uh, backing plate seems to fit well with this rotor. Then we'll use the uh, Allen head screws that come with the Corksport brake kit and put a little blue Loctite on those. And this is a 10 millimeter head. And always start your bolts by hand. And I'll screw these down till they're snug with my fingers. And then again, just kind of double check that everything rotates well still. And back to my torque wrench. 
We'll put these down at 70 foot-pounds as well. Then I will continue attaching the brake line. So the kit comes with two washers and a banjo bolt. One washer goes on the top part, the bolt. I put the bolt through the banjo and the other washer. And then by hand thread that into the back of the caliper. So the banjo bolt is a 12 millimeter. Put that on my torque wrench and I'll set my torque wrench to between 15 and 19 foot pounds. So I'll do 17. And then lastly, we'll start to tighten up the lines on, or the connectors at the brake lines. And I'll usually start by tightening the line into the strut bracket and making sure that the, the line is not rubbing up against the strut, that it's um, not twisted or bound. And then I'll snug these up. If you don't tighten these ends of the brake line, they'll leak. Brake lines you just want snug. You want to be careful not to over tighten them. And in the factory clip gets bent. And then replaced. And that's it. As for installing them, lastly is bleeding the brakes. You got two bleeders, one on each side of the caliper. I usually start by loosening these with a 10 millimeter.
and let gravity fill up the uh, fluid chambers in the caliper with brake fluid. And give them a little tap. That'll help any bubbles that are in the bottom line or um, just kind of sticking to the insides of the fluid chambers. It'll uh, get those bubbles to move up to the top. And there you have it. Now you bleed the brakes. Get a buddy to help. Um, nice. That buddy is going to be you. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. We'll, we'll do a little uh, tutorial on how to do how to bleed brakes too.